we're here at Chichester Harbour. Yep, and we made it. We thought we'd just talk through that sail a little bit um, and how we found it. Yeah, we knew it was going to be, um, I guess, a little bit uncomfortable because it's. It was um, forecast to be gusting up to up to thirty knots. It was gust. It was forecast. We needed to head east, yeah. and it was an easterly wind. So mm -hmm. we did a nice big tack, and then some smaller tacks to correct it. It was good. I actually had so much fun. Like the waves were like really big and rolling. So we had no headsail, two no reefs headsail. in the main. So I would say like the waves were probably 1.5, two meter mm. waves. Um, and in patches that were smaller, which was yeah. kind of nice because it meant to give you a bit of a break. But like you say, it was really fun, weren't it? Yeah. Like, the B&G equipment as well mm -hmm. was, it did such a good job. But it's just a, it's a learning yeah, curve. Yeah, I think get used to it. I'm but, not like very tech savvy anyway. Like your brain's much more tech savvy. Than I, I love am, so. tech, which is weird. I'm a bit the, of a dinosaur. On a sailing adventure, tech's not really. We're trying to get away from tech. Kind of, but that's the that's like modern sailing, isn't it? You get to combine, you know, the a two. little bit of tech. Yeah. But the B and G. A lot it, of people keep luxuries on the boat, like coffee makers, washing machines. That's true. We don't have. We, we don't, don't have any luxuries. That's like your luxury. And we don't have a fridge. Mm -mm, no fridge. <laughs> so yeah, the B and G. It did brilliantly. Yeah. Showed me exactly where the wind was coming from. The wind speeds. It was. It seems. It just seems really good and accurate. And then the radar as well. I was testing the radar. Uh, even though we're in the day, I just want to get used to seeing what things look like under radar. Yeah. So yeah, it was really fun. And then we came into Chichester Harbour and Jade's done some absolutely beautiful nosh. That's the signature of Talisman, way too much pasta. That is our signature dish. Signature dish, too much pasta. Too much pasta. See you guys. See you in a bit. In a bit. So I'm just taking a moment to enjoy the anchorage. <laughs> yeah, I'm just checking that we're not uh, dragging anchor or anything. And Bryn is actually doing the same. I will show you what Bryn's up to. He's kind of half taken a nap. It's really cute, actually. Let me show you. It's so windy. Um, it is literally, it's like, oh. Yeah, it's like force five, force six. And I think that's why there's not many people in this anchorage, but hey, we're still really happy to be here. <laughs> we're having a lovely time. Oh, hey. Hello. Hello. What are you up to? I'll show you. Look how cute he looks. Look how cute he is. But yeah, I'm, I'm having a little, a little nap here. Little nap And I did hear Ooh. Jade talking about something, so this is where I can check I can just sleep and just look at stuff and yeah I'm half asleep <laughs> you're wrapped up I'm wearing two coats it's very cold <laughs> so we're inside we were inside the boat and then um, we just heard this kind of um, rattling noise so we're just going to have a look and the base of the mast seems to be moving more than it should we think it's a bit it's like rattling and looks a bit loose at the bottom um, but obviously we're not really sure uh we're presuming and then a few of our kind of instagram uh friends have said it's um, we need to check like that the shrouds aren't loose and um, maybe uh, the rigging needs tightening um but yeah we're just looking more into it now because we're not really sure so what i think's happened is the rigging hasn't been adjusted or changed or anything for quite a while now and i think it's just got a little bit looser over time i think that's what's happened anyway i know that the rigging hasn't been adjusted at least for the last year and a half at least so it's more than likely a bit longer than that um i tightened up the two shrouds that are forward of the mast just give them a couple of turns on each and it's, it's not moving anymore, that vibrating isn't happening anymore. 
Um, so yeah, we're pretty happy. We've slacked off the topping lift and the the main sheet um, just in case. We put a few messages out and people were like, just loosen a couple of your like running rig in, then just check it and see. And like, I stuck my head at the bottom of the mast and looked up and stuff like that. I think we're okay. Just doing some funky manoeuvres. Yeah. So I'm just trying to figure out, like, so the anchor chain actually goes that way. Mm -hmm. So the current is pushing the boat, which I think is why we're facing this way. But the wind's blowing that way, which is it's all kind of really crazy. Confusing. I'm coming. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Uh, so we've just woke up, and we're going to head back to South Sea. Just gonna motor back, take it easy. If it helps balance the boat, we'll put a little tiny slither of head sail out, but mm. if it don't, if we if we can just motor back, we will do. So we spoke to a few more people, didn't we, after we uh, spoke to you yesterday, and yeah, we're not sure. Luckily, we've got a rigging inspection booked anyway, so. Chichester. Hi, Chichester. It's been emotional. Okay, so maybe a slight change of plan. We may have put the sail up, but it is reefed, so we haven't we haven't got it all the way out. Yeah. Um, the mast seems okay. The mast seems okay. We're getting a rigging check anyway. Yeah, we we'll get in it all checked. We're at 15 ish knots of wind at the minute, so we're not too too worried. 3.8 boat speed. Yeah, we've got a decent boat speed. So yeah, we're just uh, we're now sailing back to South Sea. Um, a little bit rolly. It's beautiful. So we're back, we're all settled um, after our journey back from Chichester Harbour, yep. which was so much fun. It was it was a wicked journey. It was journey. brilliant, it was really, really good. I spoke to the rigger when I got back as well. We aren't going sailing until it is no. now checked. No. Um, so yeah, it was it was a really fun, awesome night. More eh? boat jobs, less sailing. Way. <laughs> Why did we do that? I don't know, we'd never do that. Never in my life. <laughs> ever done that awkward i saw you do it and i was like mm. uh and also uh, we just want to say a really really big thank you to uh boat neighbors mark and steve yes oh my god um steve and philippa um there are a few boats staying from us and mark who's our next door boat neighbor yeah. and i can't even like point to words how helpful they've been to us yeah so so helpful like we literally if you're watching this guys we we massively appreciate you yeah you're very good to us and we owe you one we owe you a few drinks definitely <laughs> so yeah big thank you to them and thank you to everyone that's always really helpful on um, instagram and um we literally when we were worried about the rigging like we kind of looked at the things we thought it was but then uh, sent a message out to um 
a couple of our, our Instagram friends. Uh, their usernames are Intrepid Bear and Wise Goose Warrior on Instagram, so please go and follow them as well. They've also got YouTube channels and Instagram accounts. Yes. Uh, so I think that's it for this weekend. Yeah. I just want to say thank you to everyone that comments yeah. on these videos and everyone that subscribes and follows us on this journey. Honestly, guys, you're amazing and we're so grateful that you're joining us. Yeah, we really, really are. Uh, we're having such a good time and now we're actually out and sailing. It's all getting real and it's only two weeks till we move on board. Three weeks. Maybe a bit longer. Three, three, three ish week, weeks. Three ish weeks until we're, you know, liverboards, I guess. Proper liverboards. Proper liverboards. That's very exciting. So, yeah, we can't wait to share this journey with you and see what happens. Yes. So, we'll see you next time. Yep. Yeah, take care. Bye.